Australia has a democratic education, but unfortunately, the design of outdoor school environments enable boys while constraining girls. Currently, Australian public schools are replete with traditional courts, which are usually dominated by boys. And the importance of spaces which can support the richness of girls' activities is overlooked. My PhD is about understanding the physical environments which, which eliminates gender disparity in school grounds. This is an example of a grass area in one of my case studies. I observe girls competing in running races and practicing gymnastics on these areas. But once the boys started playing soccer, girls retreated to the edges. It turns out that girls cannot take advantage of these areas as much as boys because they are intimidated by the boys' activities. And this is not only the case in this school, but a very common pattern across all of my three case studies. Within the group discussions, girls frequently refer to boys' activities as disruptive, but boys rarely complain about girls. I asked girls to guide me to spaces where they chose to play, and I asked them why. Guess what? They chose in between spaces, less crowded, and interfered with by boys. These spaces are not officially designed, but they sit between large areas of school grounds dominated by boys. They offer a level of privacy and control that is not achievable in other areas. My study is the first examination of in-between spaces in school grounds. It's not only about what's wrong with the official spaces that we design, but what's right with the in-between spaces that we don't design. Last month, I presented my findings to a broad range of architects and landscape architects in New South Wales, and they all agree if we value in-between spaces in school grounds, we can promote gender equity in school grounds. So where to from here? Do you think that the design of spaces with the environmental characteristics of in-between spaces guarantee their functionality for children's use? It may not, because in-between spaces are not designed in advance, they are discovered by children. I plan to further research schools to understand how much design we should provide for children. Or to put it somewhat differently, how we can give them opportunities so that they can create their own environments. So if we want to have gender equity in school grounds within a democratic education, let's start with the design of school environments. Thank you.